Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome to Unbox Newbie's Adventure. This is a game I got for free through Keymailer uh, from the developers um, on PS4, but it's also on. It's also on um, Xbox One. Oops. I'm getting a little overzealous with the button pushing here. There we go. That's 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 what I wanted. Anyways, let me turn down the audio just a smidgen. Make it easier for you guys to hear me. Okay. All right. So I have no idea what this game is. I think it's like a puzzle platformer of some kind. Is that? Is that Bemo? Look at that right there sitting on the log on the right. That's Bemo. And I think over here on the far right is supposed to be Super Meat Boy. Or or is it Super Meat Box? Box? Anyways. Um, I'm recording this directly from the PS4. As uh, I didn't want to really like, uh, do a full-fledged Let's Play out of this, but I did want to give it some attention since they gave it to me for free and everything. I don't know if I'll be doing continuous episodes of this or anything. I think I just wanted to, like, you know, take a take a tiny peek at it and see what it was like and show it to you guys so you could also see it. Global Postal Service is in trouble. Thank you, Mystery Box. They keep losing parcels and soon they'll go bust. GPS has gone to drastic measures to save themselves. Global Postal Service, huh? Using mysterious technology, they have created the ultimate postal service. Let me guess. Boxes? I don't know. Self-delivering cardboard boxes. Oh, well, that works, I guess. Sentient boxes. GPS will expect great things from you. Good luck. All right, well, I guess we'll try. We'll find out very soon here what kind of game this is. I get the feeling it might be somewhat of a traditional 3D platformer, though. Dash. I think the new box can do it, Bounce. Maybe. The GPS president said this one would be much smarter than us. Wow, we're plenty smart. Oh, wait, are we playing as BMO Box? Yeah, you guys are smart. As long as the new box can prove we're ready to work, I'm happy. Oh, this is... Okay, the new box comes out of here. Let me guess, we get to customize it? Is it customizable? Digi. Cardboard creation has started. Don't sit there and try to tell me that's not a rip-off of BMO from Adventure Time. Just gonna be a plain old regular-ass box, right? Yeah, there ain't nothing special about me. Hi there, newbie. I have no face. Do I have to earn my face? I, I'm, I mean, you guys, you guys can all read, right? Hopefully I don't need to sit there and read all of that to you. What advanced technology? I look like you guys look more advanced than me. I mean, I'm just a regular ass looking box. Oh, well, that's not very, uh, thank you for your, for your confidence. Oh, good. Tutorials. Everybody's favorite. Sure. Teach me how to push buttons. Okay. All right, now this is... Whoa, okay. Hello there. All right, we're really... 
Damn! These boxes roll fast. I call bull cocky on that. Nothing that fucking square and cornered rolls that fast. It's not a ball, it's a box. What does locations mean? Oh, I see. Yeah, whatever. All right, teach me how to do the things. Undamaged corners, no scuff marks, and a delightful new box smell. Yeah. Basic functionality, like the ability to move and jump and breathe and sneeze and scratch your ass. Jump with R1. What? Well, that's a bit... That is not a very uh, convenient location for a jump button. I can tell you that much right now. Boing. Okay. But goddamn, if this game doesn't. Eh, eh. Oh my god, get up there. Thank you. Uh, eh. Okay, I can already tell this is gonna be. This is gonna be a game that will easily frustrate people. Okay. Simple, yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be simple if your character didn't move 500 miles an hour. If you need to go faster, okay, so you guess. Unbox. Okay. So unboxing is like. Hold on, I guess I'm gonna have to do it. To the other side, okay. Whoa! Oh, I get it. Okay, I get what I'm supposed to do. All right, so first I jump, then I unbox. So basically, you sacrifice a life to jump further, is what happens there. Catch some serious air with the unbox, bro. Sentient cardboard boxes can also slam. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I get it. Circle, let's the do. Okay, yeah, enough. Shut up. Moving on. Uh, okay. Hit. Boom. Okay. All right, let's find out about that then, shall we? Ha! Uh, oof. Ah. I didn't. I didn't do that right. Boom. There we go. Great work, newbie. You learned how to do basic video game shit. What's this? Don't touch the glowing green crates. Nitro is highly explosive. Oh, okay. A little bit of Crash Bandicoot up in this bitch, huh? And what's this? Yeah, 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 I did that already. I was right here. You saw me do it. Preloaded NPC dialogue. Okay. Hapa! Wee! All right. How much more to this obstacle course of Oh. Yeah, incredible slamming. We'll make Nash do it later. Who's Nash? Final tips before we head to Paradise Isles. Okay, thanks, Bounce. Okay, so square reloads you at the latest checkpoint. Triangle changes your view. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, shit. I've unlocked a new cosmetic. Visit Swift Tailing is the best place to try out any new clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's all the way over there. I don't want to go over there right now. I'm sure it'll be... Ooh, I wonder if I need to get that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, they won't even let me leave. Okay, fine. I guess I'm going to Paradise Isles then. I'm in this crate full of peanuts. All right, so let's check out this Paradise Isles level, and then we'll call it after that. We did the t tomorrow Manorial. And now, we're going to the first real level. What kind of hazards await us? I don't know. Can you actually die in this game? I don't think you can. Seems kind of like a, just like a fun kid's game. 
Although I can see a lot of people getting frustrated with it in terms, you know, 3D platformers can be difficult. And also, I'm trying to talk over this loading screen because I am recording this directly from the system. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, I could edit it with, uh, what do you call that? Share factory? Yeah. But. Ain't nothing like a good sea breeze to freshen the cardboard. But Share Factory is, I mean, it's decent, but it's touchy at that. It's hard to edit videos with a controller. <laughs> Not exactly. Not much of a fan of the sun. Wild cards. Oh, so there are enemies. Bad boxes. Naughty, naughty. Oh, okay. So, so you can get attacked. They will attack you on sight. Hopefully, I won't come to that. Just, for, just don't let them see you. All right. I didn't really get a chance to go back and put on that outfit, like they were telling me about, anyways. But I imagine that as we go through this, we unlock different customization options for the box so we can actually give them a face eventually and probably a hat and different colors and everything. Tested again. I was just fucking tested. Oh my god, fine. Alright, let's go. Collect all the silver tape as fast as I can without falling in the water. Eh. No! Damn it! Fuck! Ugh. Yeah, this is one of those types of games. I feel it in my bones. You guys know the types I'm talking about, like... Can't drive this, and... Whoa. <laughs> and, uh... Can't drive this, and... Quap, and, uh... Super Meat Boy, and, uh... Cluster Truck, and just... Any... Fucking... Oh, my God. God damn it! It's not what I wanted to happen. Get, get up there. Huh, some bullshit. Now I gotta get back over there. Luckily, this looks like a shortcut. Heh-eh. Heh-eh. Did I pass? Wow, you're fat. No, I did horrible. You guys are just extra nice. <laughs> okay, sure. Alternative delivery solution. Fireworks. What? Customers will pay extra for speedy delivery. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. You don't have to over-explain these things. I like how I just float in the middle of the air at first. Okay, so I got one. Uh, boom, there's another one. Third one, and here comes the fourth. Wow, that was extremely easy. <laughs> that was easier than the other thing. All right, one more of these stupid tests, right? Cardboard duty, really? Are you sure you haven't played Cardboard Duty before? Well, it's a fitting name considering those games have about the entertainment value of a piece of cardboard, so... Ooh, Call of Duty Slam! So original.
I know how to do the slam move. Yeah, yeah. Magical floating arrow, because this is a video game after all. My god. Um, I, I know, I'm being a jackass like CinemaSins. I know, this is a, probably a kid's game and I'm not supposed to take it super seriously, but it does seem like it has some of that intentionally frustrating stuff to its mechanics, so. Maybe it's not so much a kid's game as it is just purposely goofy and cartoony. I don't know. It's kind of like sometimes things that look like that look like a kid's game, they could easily pass as one. They're family friendly and all that, but... Anyways, I fucking forgot what I was saying here. Can I have these ducks? Ah! Whoa, what happened? Oh, okay, the elevator goes up and down. I was gonna say, they're gonna respawn that guy for me, but I guess we didn't need to. Oh, okay, so these are the checkpoints that Square will reload me back at if I feel like I got stuck or whatever. And here's the switch. Now we can explore the island. Woohoo, freedom! No more tutorials, I hope. But yeah, um... There are just there are a lot of games out there that could easily be be a kids game. Uh, that was the opening. That could easily be a kids game, but like when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, the game mechanics are super complicated and would be hard for a lot of kids to truly understand or grasp, or even do. Like Kingdom Hearts, for example. You know. That nothing bad is going to happen. Now watch, something bad's about to happen. <laughs> Boss Wild. <laughs> nothing bad is happening. <laughs> oh god, they made him look like some asshole '70s greaser. Oh creases. Is it just me, or does this thing seem like... Does this game seem like it could easily pass for a Cartoon Network cartoon these days? But you are objects. I mean, you're boxes. Sorry, I can't talk. I don't have a face. Yeah, how about no? Go fuck yourself. You're kind of a douche. Don't worry. I will take care of it with my abilities of boxing. Okay, cool. All right, enough talking. See you later. I'm going to go explore the island now. Please and thank you. Mystery box, what's up? You know, Mystery Box, you kind of look like a Mio from Nier. There's obviously some inspiration behind the designs of these boxes, you know. Why the fuck am I all the way back here now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not going to join the bad guys. It's a video game. I'm going to beat them. It's all cool. Alright, cool. Uh, so basically I have to collect stamps that's usually how these 3d platformers work you go around collecting so many MacGuffins and then you after you collect all the things you can unlock the next world and then you go to that next world and final boss and all that stuff anyways because like in Donkey Kong 64 it was bananas and uh woohoo yeah took the fast route Screw all that other nonsense. Donkey Kong 64 was bananas and Banjo Kazooie. It was like puzzle pieces or something. In ukulele, you're collecting pages and quills. Quills are like currency. Yeah, I rented ukulele from Gamefly. I'm enjoying it so far. They do need to hurry up with that camera fix, though. 
camera's a little touchy at times. Alright, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I'm assuming I'm supposed to go to that guy, so... Geronimo! Oh! Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 buddy! I was trying to say hi, and you just fucking blew me away with that fan. Uh, excuse me. Hi. I just want to look around the island and screw around for a bit, guys. That's... We've already seen... Ugh, the gameplay mechan... Son of a bitch. We've already seen the gameplay mechanics for the most part, so... I'm not gonna waste your time doing too many of these challenges or whatever. Just gonna screw around, see what's around, you know, see what's going on, what's up to do, and all that happy... Get... Get... Ha! Yeah. Oh, wait, I bet I can... Man, it is so hard to jump. What's another game I recently saw somebody play that kind of reminds me of the slippery controls, purposely frustrating nonsense? Um... Uh, what was it? My brother was playing it. Human Fall Flat. There we go. Yeah, that, 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 that one. That one looks like it's intentionally frustrating as well. Over here, newbie. I can help you with your training. No, no more training. I've had it with your goddamn tutorials. You can go fuck yourself. Set you on fire if you put me through one more of those things. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Oh, he's a bad guy. Okay. Here, let me... Uh, damn. Oh, I need fireworks. Do these explode? These probably explode. Yep, they explode. <laughs> that poor little white... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Causing some GTA-level mayhem up in here. Oh, that's what the fans are for. They're supposed to help me get to places that are hard to get to. Be, I need to get... Oh, shit! Inside that building for that one. Apparently, I need to get over here now. All right, let me try. Whee! Ooh, 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 ooh. Boing! Boing! Oh, shit. Ah! Fuck. No! I don't want to be up here. I wanted to be down here. What the hell is going on here? Stupid thing keeps following me. Okay. Hat. 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 No. Oh, oh okay. Hat. Ah. Got him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. Stop it. Don't you dare. Okay. Got him. I hear a stamp, but where is it? It's inside. Hold on. I'm trying to get the tape. Okay. I'm going to do a little something here. Ah. No. Get in the water. Get, 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 get. Ah. Fuck. God. The controls are ridiculous in this game. Like, you guys have no idea. One more go. Let's try this again. Oh, okay. Boing. All right, I will get up there. I promise you. I will get up there. I just need to do it from right here. Boing. See? No! Fuck. God damn. Okay, you know what? <laughs> uh. ooh, 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 what's this? Ooh, I'm stuck in the scenery now. Okay. What is with those things, and how do I kill them? Because they are annoying. Oh, well, that seems to work. Just get them to kill themselves. That'll work. They must be part of the, uh, the bad boxes. This is so cliche. It's like some 70s parents made it like everybody bees nice and listens to the orders and does the thing for the good and you are a bad guy if you listen to rock music and wear leather it's like dirty dancing remade with boxes <laughs> oh no god damn it i was right there son of a fuck all right well you know what you guys get the point i'm gonna keep screwing around with this because it's fun but i don't have a whole lot of time today uh, luckily, I get, uh, today I get to start my donations back again, because I'm off the antibiotics now, so. Anyways, this was Unboxing Newbie's Adventure. It's, uh, fun for the whole family, and extremely frustrating, and confusing, and, uh, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. All I know is I'm a box, and I'm collecting stamps. That's, uh, the long and short of it. It's a, it is, it's a, it's a 3D platformer. If you're a fan of stuff like Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Ukulele, all that fun stuff, then you would probably enjoy this. It's, 
You know, I'm taking the piss out of it for comedy, but it's actually a nice, fun little game, you know? So, anyways, that will be it for this video. Let me know if you'd like to see me play more of this in the future. If I do, it won't be anytime soon, but I would be more than happy to revisit it on the channel. Maybe later after I've played the game a bit, I'll do, like, some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, you know, coming back to it after I've been at it for a while and showing you where I am there compared to where I am now. You know? There's a name for that and I forgot what it was. But anyways, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely, <coughs> excuse me, in another video. Okay, goodbye. Oh shit, the water.